valve stuck open. Is it? Yeah. I'll blow some air through it, see what happens. Use a new tire. There you go. Still leaking. Put a cap on it. No cap. I pull one off the Polaris. So this is today's mission. We're gonna load up the Polaris and the new Marlon tub trailer and the three-wheeler, maybe the Suzuki. We're not quite sure if that's gonna make it or not. And we're gonna head back to a secret little honey hole lake of ours. It's got uh, pike, pickerel, and trout in it. A little windy on the main lake. The boys, uh, three of the boys are gonna stay and see what they can do on the main lake. And then we're gonna head to the small one and hopefully we can get into some action and have fun. Test that machine out. Test it all out. It's what we do. We're gonna leave the BW here. It's gonna be fun. Gotta bring the chainsaw too. You're losing all the aerodynamics of the shape of the boat. Oh man, are you kidding me? That was designed for that. It's totally perfect. Yeah. So we, all we need to do is ratchet on that. No. No, we gotta ratchet to here. Actually, we just go around these boards, right? Just hook it to the eyes in the gunnel. No, I want to be able, to be able to open the thing because we gotta cut trees down and whatnot. Look at here. Hmm? Yeah. That strap is in very poor form. That's a bad strap. But we, we should bring in one or two extras. So now if I open the lid, it should... It should, it should open and the boat will stay on top. Oh, somebody's uh, pretty smart. You come up with some pretty good ideas, Louie. I nailed that one. Pretty cool. Bring one or two extra straps with us because those are going to chafe on there. These chains are going to be the only thing that's going to bother me the whole way. Yeah, they make noises. Bolt it on. Tape How to maximize the use out of your safety chains. Yep. Green bug spray? No. Ah. Need it. The ultimate hunter's uh, wagon. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Just slightly bruised. Yeah. I would hurl if I had to. Louis bruised banana. I never played baseball.
more we're going to come across. That was a big wind last night. Well, you know of at least one more, eh, Andrew? Yeah, it's up here. Yeah. All right. Let's go do it. Okay. Let's roll them out. Sweetheart, magical. Do you want to keep this? Uh, should we keep that one or let him go? I have no idea. Want to add them to our collection of fish? We have some at home. We might as well eat them, eh? Yeah. That's a beauty. Let's do it. It's got uh... mm, very sweet. What was that? I need the wires. Yeah, I just might. I'm caught on his stomach. Oh. Oh, yeah. Didn't you hear him? That's a decent sized fish. Oh. Want to keep this one? Uh, no. We got to get the bigger one. It's not liking me up here. You need to grab him like a man all the time. In his business. <laughs> he's Open not liking down. where he's hooked. Oh, oh uh, pliers? Uh, no, we need bigger. Yeah, too small. Good job. Look at him. No, he's just recovering. Hey. There's the trout. And there is a little pan for a pickerel for breakfast. So, boys, how many fish? Six. You guys got six. Six. And you let like four go. No, sorry, we kept six. Six keepers. Yeah, and you let four go. Yeah. So you got ten. Yeah. And we got uh, what did we get there, Simon? Uh, we got five pike that we threw back, and yeah. uh, we kept two. We kept one pickerel, and we kept that trout, which you know, real brown trout like that. Maybe it was a brown trout, but I don't ever remember hearing of of a brown trout up here this area I know we have a, 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 a nice golden one. trout I would leave the skin on you can if you want that's your fish you just cut the, uh, well we're going to eat them tomorrow there's six there's, of us there's no scales on it so I yeah. leave the skin on yeah there you go that's big filet actually it looks really good uh, that's a really white meat in that 
We have some in here that have a, a golden kind of yellowish meat. Wow. Well, you're looking at about a pound each. Pound of meat each, easy. That's the rule of thumb at work when we eat. It's a pound of meat each person. Wow. <laughs> so you have for chicken now, right? Yeah. yeah. True. There's a lot of chicken. But there was none left over. Nope. Sweet. Andrew, how's the knee? Let's see the knee. Why you get some hand It's going to be swollen tomorrow. Yeah. It's starting to swell now, actually. Yeah, it is. What'd you do? Andrew took a good shot. He's got no brakes on the on the quad runner on the Suzuki, and he was falling a little too close. No, Louis stopped in the middle of the trail for no reason. For no reason. Yeah, no you reason. Mean, you mean for the washout, the big creek, and the <laughs> yeah. giant rocks? Well, I didn't see that from behind you. <laughs> like, how close is he going to follow me this whole time? I wasn't actually close. You were way around the corner. I know, but it's I was actually corner. way far back. On that one. Until you were close. Well, yeah. You, you stopped <laughs> on a blind corner. <laughs> Fucking, I have no brakes. And I didn't want to hit the boat. And I didn't even want to hit the trailer. So I took it to the side like I've done every other time. But this time I got unlucky and there was a big... A beaver uh, pond. There was a lake on. With, uh, it, it would have been... You were so close to flying over into that so pond. Like the bike was going to stop and you were going to go over the handlebars. No, the bike was going to come with me if I didn't hit whatever that was. Oh my god, it would have been good. But there's, there's no sense doing unless there's a camera on okay. you. Yep. So we need to fix brakes. Are you not gearing down? No, I was in second. I managed to go from fifth to the second. And I probably lost like 30k. So you were getting, in that, that bike's in low. Yeah. And you're, you're getting 70k. Getting 70. And I was going 70 basically when I came around that corner <laughs> and saw you. Yeah. So yeah, that's right, because I was doing 35, 40 miles an hour at times. Yeah. Um, is it running better? It's running rougher now. First one at a time. Yeah, on the way back, I wasn't going slow because I hurt myself. I was going slow because... It, it just wasn't around. Around. I could hear it like yeah. popping and banging. I could hear I could hear both of you guys. I could I could hear Simon with the three was it backfired? No. No it wasn't? No. When you let off the gas all the time? No no that was me. So it must have been him. Every time I let off the gas fast, it would backfire oh, and it would shoot out yeah. a blue flame. Yeah, I would oh, see yeah. yeah, I could see the blue flame behind and me. So it was a good indication for you though, because every time I did it I was either Letting go of the gas to make sure you were still behind, or letting go of the gas because there was danger in front. So it was good. But he saw the big blue flame. <laughs> I could hear it. Every once in a while, I'd hear bang. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like somebody was throwing rocks at the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> no, the three wheeler was running mint. Uh, no backfiring. Nothing. It was I can't believe amazing. You went as fast as you did. Hit on something, uh, up in the air. No, I, I, that three wheeler was smooth. Yeah. I would just stand up on the bumps and it would be amazing. Yeah. It seemed like you were bouncing more than I was. Oh, I was yeah, bouncing all that, those are yeah. bouncy. Uh, those are bouncy. I was bouncing a lot. You're all over the place. I'm like, oh my god. It's fun though. It's fun. Yeah. Bounce all over the place and recover and all that shit. I just, you need some breakfast. There. That's it's breakfast. Coming. That's breakfast. That is a lot of. A lot of fish. Seven pounds. Yeah. Sweet! <laughs> so, what do we do with that? Good job, guys! And here's dinner. Is there a trick? Uh, it's got an igniter.